What's up, folks? It's Jim here, and I've lived in Mexico for several years and several different parts of Mexico. I post videos about flying drones and other hobbies, retirement options, and retiring in Mexico. Please like and subscribe to my channel so you get notifications about new videos. I've been getting lots of questions lately about flying my drone in Mexico and thought I'd clear up some misconceptions. There's lots of bad information out there in blogs and on YouTube videos. So I want to put your mind at ease if you're thinking about traveling to or moving to Mexico and don't know what to do about your drone. Should I take my drone to Mexico? The short answer is yes. But there's things you should be aware of before flying your drone in Mexico. This, vid this video isn't about how to get your drone to Mexico. It's about the laws once you get there. Hmm. Sounds like another video on its way. Lots of people think of Mexico as this wild, freewheeling country where you can get away with almost anything. And years ago, this was kind of true. They've cracked down in a lot of areas, but are very lax in others. You can still go to street markets and buy a variety of items that go virtually unregulated. There's toys like the ones we used to call clackers that have been outlawed to import into the United States, but are very common in Mexico. You can still buy switchblades, knives of all kinds that wouldn't be allowed in the U.S. And yes, you can drink and buy liquor even if you haven't reached legal drinking age in the States. So it would seem drones should be a part of that lackadaisical attitude. That's not the case entirely, though. I started research, researching this topic because I already lived in Mexico and wanted to buy a drone. I bought mine in Mexico, and I'll describe that in another video. But as I was researching, I found that there's a whole lot of bad information out there. Some videos I watched actually said they got their information from blogs and forums. If you want to know what laws pertain to something, you have to go to the source. Try telling your Mexican police officer that what, you're, what they're arresting you for isn't illegal because you read an article on Reddit. That being said, you're probably not going to get arrested for flying a drone in Mexico, but there can be consequences. I'll go into the potential consequences in a future video. I've created links in the description below that take you to a couple of websites that delineate drone laws in Mexico, including a link to the drone legislation published on the Mexico government website. Mexico changes many laws quite frequently though, and anything dealing with technology is likely to be revised fairly often. They're also written in Spanish, of course, and a couple of people reading the same laws will interpret them differently. I've done my best to offer two slightly different interpretations. And even though this video was created in September of 2022, they may have changed their laws by the time you see this, even if it's only a few months later. So I'll try to update the laws as I see them change. First, I'll outline the actual laws as they've been published by the federal government. And then I'll talk a little bit about what to expect on a practical basis. None of what I talk about can be used as legal advice, though. I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a U.S. citizen living in Mexico as an expat. I'm only trying to provide personal experience and what I've found searching for laws in Mexico. The agency governing the use of drones is the Federal Civil Aviation Agency, AFAC. Drones are classified in Mexico in three distinct classes based on weight. Micro UAVs are those weighing less than 2 kilograms or 4.4 pounds. Light UAVs are from 2, grams, 2 kilograms to 25 kilograms or about 55 pounds. Over 25 kilograms, they are classified as heavy UAVs. So for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to talk about micro UAV, UAVs since that's what most tourists are going to bring to Mexico. The mistake, I believe, that some people make is the interpretation of the laws regarding micro UAVs. The two kilogram limit leads people to believe their drone that weighs under that amount is perfectly legal. Not exactly. Within the regulations, they mention drones that weigh 250 grams or less, and some folks think that makes the laws governing all the UAVs under 2 kilograms 
having the same laws as those that apply to the ones that are under 250 grams. It's confusing, and it's in Spanish. What I believe they're saying is that 250 gram drones don't have to be registered, but those heavier than that, up to two kilogram, do have to be registered, and therein lies the problem. You must be a Mexican citizen to register a drone. It's one of the reasons I bought my Mavic Mini 2. It's under 250 grams, and so technically, I don't have to register it in Mexico. That's where the practicality, though, of the law comes in. Your most likely interaction with law enforcement is the municipal police, or less likely, the National Guard. They will know that drones are legal and probably won't harass you about operating one unless you're doing something stupid. For instance, stay away from people. The law actually calls out the distance you should remain from people, 10 meters or 32 feet. So flying way over people on the beach is okay. Flying between people on the beach is likely to be frowned upon. There's also the normal no more than 400 feet of altitude language in the law. Stay more than five miles away from airports and don't fly around national monuments. Also, you're only supposed to fly during daylight and within your visual line of sight. I can't see my DJI Mini 2 after it's about 400 feet away and I don't often fly that close to me. So you're going to want to fly beyond the line of sight and I think that's where you're probably going to find problems. I've flown out over the ocean for almost two miles trying to catch a boat. Well, the boats are moving a lot faster than they seem and they're a lot farther out than they look. I've filmed dolphins, which was a lot more difficult than you would think. There's not much perspective when you're flying over water, so finding them took a lot more effort than I thought. Even catching boats is challenging. Everything on the water looks like it's only a few hundred feet away when frequently they're a half mile away or more. I'm, I'm going to go into some of those techniques of finding something over open water in future videos. Where I try to be more careful is flying over cities. I stay away from churches, or at least a pretty high altitude, out of respect. But there's two types of people in Mexico that don't like to be filmed. Law enforcement and those that operate outside of law enforcement. When you see a bunch of municipal police responding to a traffic ac accident or something, resist the urge to fly over. Take my word for it, they don't like it. It isn't necessarily illegal, but you don't want to get into an argument with law enforcement. The other group is the folks that operate outside of law enforcement. You don't want to inadvertently catch some kind of illegal activity with your drone. And you definitely don't want to look like you're actually looking for it. Lastly, although it isn't specifically called for in the regulations, your hotel or condo may have guidelines. Most of them don't want you to fly on their grounds. There's too, many, there's too many opportunities to accidentally crash into somebody, or at least that's what the hotel or condo owners think. And other residents may not appreciate noisy drones flying around. Lots of people think of drones as a potential invasion of their privacy. It doesn't really matter if you agree with how they feel. There's no need to cause conflict. Respect other people. Let them have their peace while they're on vacation or living in the condo. So let me conclude with the major points of the laws about drones in Mexico. A drone weighing less than 250 grams is fine and you don't have to register it. But you're probably not going to get harassed as long as you don't violate the other main laws. These are stay away from airports and other aviation centers, don't fly over national monuments like Chichen Itza, and don't fly close to people, and you shouldn't fly at night. That's an overview of the laws governing drones or UAVs in Mexico. I haven't gone into any potential penalties for violating any of them. In Mexico, there could be a variety of responses by law enforcement. I'll go into some of those in the next video. Please like and subscribe and we'll discuss that. In the meantime, if you're traveling to Mexico, take your drone, enjoy the scenery, and just don't do anything stupid.